in a world saturated with noise and haste, where fleeting moments come and go like whispers in the wind, there exists a sanctuary, a refuge from the chaos, a gateway to an infinite realms. That sanctuary is the simple act of reading. In the pages of a book, we find more than words. We find a universe waiting to be explored. So you just got the ZV-E10 and you're wondering how can you get cinematic footage out of this camera? I'm gonna show you the exact settings that I use to get the most cinematic footage out of this camera. When you first get this camera, you're wondering which one you should be on. And the one I stay on is manual and you may think manual is scary at first but trust me when you have full control of everything you can make things look so much more stylized and that's what that's how to get that cinematic style now a basic rule of thumb when something looks cinematic people usually think of the blurry background and that's this number right here that's the f stop so the lower this number is basically the blurrier the background is going to be now i'm not an expert on cinematography or anything, but I'm just letting you know that's what people usually think of whenever you say cinematic or like it looks like a movie. And typically the more expensive lenses uh, have lower f-stop. So if you wanna upgrade the lens, uh, you're gonna be looking at spending a little bit more money. Once you have it on auto, you wanna make sure that you're shooting at the highest resolution that you can on this camera, which is 4K. So you have 4K in HD, I shoot 4K at 24 frames per second. Now I really wish this camera shot at higher frame rates, like 120, because I do product videos and it's nice to get that super slow-mo effect. But for what I'm doing, 24 is the most cinematic frame rate. If you're shooting YouTube videos, sometimes I'll shoot in 30 frames, but for the most part, I'll use 24 if I'm trying to do something stylized that looks more cinematic. So 24, and then this number to the right of it, the 100, that's just the amount of data that you get with that. Moving on, I like to shoot, uh, I like to shoot with my ISO in control and then I just adjust my exposure manually. So just to brighten it up. And adjusting ISO is the last thing that I do when using the old zv 10 or any camera. Now you have f-stop, lowest you can go. You have ISO, ISO you wanna adjust that last. You wanna make sure your shutter speed is double your frame rate. So shooting at 24, uh, 1 over 50 or 1 over 60 works perfectly. And then that's pretty much how I set it set up for cinematic shooting. Now this camera does shoot in S-Log3. I did hear some rumors about the ZV-E10 where shooting S-Log3 wasn't so great. Like whenever you go to color grade it, it would fall apart. But if you want to color, if you want to shoot S log three, I think it's picture profile. I can't remember what it. If you want to shoot S log three, I believe it's picture profile eight. That's what I used to, sh to shoot the opening sequence. And there you go. That is how I get cinematic footage out of the old ZV E10. I love this camera. This is the very first camera that I've got. It stays near and dear to my heart. I got a little cage for it. Um, and I still use it for photos. I love taking little photos with this camera. If you just got this camera and you wanna learn more about this camera, consider subscribing because I love making videos about this camera and trying to get the best out of this camera because this camera is probably the best for its price. And if you're just getting started in videography and photography, this is a, an excellent choice. If you'd like to see a video tutorial on how to get perfect exposure or color grade in Final Cut Pro, then comment down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.